Hi everyone, so in this video I'm doing kind of like a mixed media sketch kind of drawing, so it's nothing fancy but it's just something to test out my new camera. And from the first, like these first few scenes are a little bit blurry because I didn't really have the manual focus um, set correctly because I didn't realize that when you like zoom in it comes a little bit, it goes a little bit out of focus. So by the time I like previewed all of my clips, um, I realized everything was slightly blurry, so I kind of sped up this part a little bit more than the other parts. So that's why it's a bit faster and that's why it's blurry, but eventually um, you'll see, hopefully it's, it gets sharper. So this is just a little doodle. Um, I didn't want to do anything too fancy, and I also just felt like doing something kind of simple and cute. And I always like doing these little cartoon style drawings. They just seem so much more relaxing than like my regular style it's just it seems like you can break the rules a little bit more and you don't have to be as precise with your anatomy and everything and I just wanted to kind of have a sketchy feel to it so basically um, the paper as you saw it's like a mixed media sketch paper but I'm probably gonna see if I can use it for like more finished work um, just because it's so thick and there's so much paper in it I'm plan to use it for uh, lots of different things because in this video, I actually tried to use as many different materials as I had, and it actually worked really well with all of them. I used Copics, watercolors, uh, soft pastel, pencil crayons. I used a brush pen, as you can see here. And these are actually um, brush pens I just got today, but by the time you see this, it will be yesterday. I just went to the like an artist store called Curry's, and I've been wanting like actual brush pens for a really long time, and I didn't really know exactly how each brand performs and everything. So I just picked up a pack that was waterproof and it just happened to work well with my Copics also. So it came with three different sizes. There was like a super fine one, um, a middle, middle sized one and a really broad tipped one. And they are really, really fun to use as I expected. I have had uh, brush multi-liners before, but they were in my Copic pack. And back then I wasn't really very good with, with uh, line work. So I never used the brush pens and I didn't realize just how amazing they were to like do a line weight and line thickness and everything like that. And I just felt like making her dress have some sort of foliage kind of pattern on it. And I really do like drawing mushrooms. So that's why I decided to do that. So here's the pen. I kind of give you a nice close up of it. I'm using the smallest tip here. I don't really know anything about the brand. I just picked them up just to give them a try. But hopefully you can read the label there if you're interested. This isn't like sponsored or anything, it's just something I just found at the art store. <laughs> None of this is, I just wanted to test out all these new materials and all my old materials also. And this is the color I'm using for her hair. I don't know why I did such an in-depth close-up of it, but it's one of my favorite Copic colors. It's one of my favorite browns. The 70s are just so nice to use. And the color I used on her sleeves is actually a color I received for Christmas. I got two new Copic colors for Christmas. I think that one was Y23, and I think I also got R83. Those are the two colors. I'm only using the one here, but I decided to do all of the base colors as Copics because those are really good for laying down a nice smooth color for the base tone of an image. And then I just kind of went in with some pencil crayons and also watercolor, as you will see soon. But I really do like that yellow color that I've that I got for Christmas because all my other yellows are really harsh and they're really really vibrant and they're almost they're like too strong to do any kind of neutral looking yellow colored thing like blonde hair or like a nice a nice yellow color they're all super strong and kind of hard to work with so this yellow was actually really really nice i didn't ask for any specific colors i just got like two ones two colors that weren't on my list that i already had and it actually fits into my collection really nicely. This is a Pentel Aquawash water brush. I like to use that for watercolor. Basically, you fill the barrel with water and the water naturally comes out of the end onto the bristles. And this way you don't have to dip your brush into water. It's just the water's already there. It's so nice to use with watercolor painting. I can't express enough like how much more fun it's made watercolor painting for me. I just, it's portable and you don't need a jar of water next to you when you're painting. Of course, you can use this as well as a brush in water because you can't do everything with this kind of brush. Like, you can't 
there's only you can only control the flow of the water to a certain extent because it does come out automatically and of course with like a regular brush and and a, a jar of water you can control how much water gets added where with the pentel brush it's kind of sometimes it'll like gush like the water will just come out without you realizing it and sometimes not enough water will come out but that's basically the only drawback other than that i really like using the the water brush it's i wish i had more than one because i also like to fill the back of it with like a diluted ink i find that really fun to work with too so for the background i'm just doing some soft pastel and overall this paper worked really nicely with watercolor really nicely with copics and i'm really happy with the way all of the materials performed so i hope you enjoyed seeing this little sketch video of me testing out um, some new equipment and my new camera if you're interested what my camera is called i will put it in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time